This week on Gadget, we're bringing power to the people with a CES interview of Horizon Cell and the Xandrex power source, Mobile Mini. Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a part of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church. And we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Now, I want to start off by confirming some rumors. Yes, it's absolutely true. It's 100% verifiably absolutely true that we are the cause of the internet outage in the Middle East. Let's get on to the tech. Now we want to show you a couple of power options today. We're going to show you a interview that we had with Horizon Cell, which is a fuel cell manufacturer at CES, but we want to start off with another CES gadget that we picked up from Xantrex. Now at the show, Xantrex announced that they're partnering with Duracell. They're going to be combining Xantrex's manufacturing know-how with Duracell's battery technology and their distribution channels to give consumers more choice in gadgets that power their other gadgets. Now this is basically a, just a little USB charger. I have this LED light plugged in here and uh, the idea is you charge up this unit with any one of the charging options that they give you and then you can use this to charge up your phone or your Bluetooth headset, your MP3 player, your iPod, anything that can take a charge through a USB cable can be charged up by this. Now the specs on this device are eh, they're okay they're they're you know pretty good for a unit of this size you get about a 12 watt battery it's 3 ampere 3.7 volts which um well in our tests have been powering this light for the last 7 days and it's still going but if you were plugging an iPod into this or say a, a, a one of these it could extend the battery life by up to 3 4 6 12 hours depending on how much power you're drawing other than that, it's got your standard power switch, so you can switch the unit on or off. It's got a little charging jack here, which comes with a cable that can be plugged into either a cigarette adapter or into an AC adapter. Now, the cool thing about this is if you carry this around in your kit, your mobile geek kit, you can actually charge all your other USB devices directly from either of these adapters. So not only can you charge up the power source mobile mini, but you can power up your phone or your Bluetooth headset or your USB cooler directly. Now, the most standout feature of the mobile mini has to be this. There's a little retractable USB jack in the side here, which is a big plus. If anyone has ever used a unit like this from another manufacturer, you know that they can be very useful as long as you have the right adapter, the right cable. Well, sometimes I've taken out my batteries and uh, I forget the cable, so not only do I have a dead device, but I've got a battery I have to lug around that's completely useless. Well, with this, it's quite simple. You just turn the unit on, plug it into your device. In this case, it's going to be my phone, and now I'm charging. In our test, this was actually able to keep this charged when it had a completely dead battery for about six hours, which isn't bad. I mean, I wouldn't want to have it tethered like this, but at least I have that option. This thing weighs uh, about a, a third of a pound, which is you know quite light. It's, it's about the size of a pack of cigarettes. It could fit into your shirt pocket. It could fit in your purse. It definitely could fit in your laptop bag. And uh, right now, I think you could find these online for about $40, so that's not much at all. If you want a way to extend the power of your device, if you want a way to make sure that you never go dead at the wrong time, you may want to pick up the, one of these Live Poly devices from, X, uh, from Xantrex and uh, see what it can do for your Uber Geek shelf life. We're back in the South Hall. We're at the kiosk for Horizon. Now, if you haven't heard about Horizon, they've been trying to get the word out about hydrogen fuel cells for quite a long time. If you see in the back here, they have a few of the demonstration kits, everything from learning kits to operational uh, toy cars to, to this, which is being powered by vodka. It's a biofuel cell. Everything on this table is actually being powered by hydrogen. Now, that's cool but what's really here is the released hydro pack this is a, a power a hydrogen powered fuel cell and we've got one of the co-founders one of the co-creators of horizon taras who's going to tell us a little bit about this 
So the Hydro Pack is a, a, a product that we're launching this year, and we've partnered with a company called Millennium Cell on the, to develop the fuel storage solution for the generator that we have here. Um, fuel cells are a difficult technology. Uh, they're expensive, and they're also difficult to use because the fuel isn't really available. So we've solved the cost problem of fuel cells. We've made this product affordable for the mass market. Uh, the other problem we've solved with this particular product is the storage of fuel. We've made it, we've designed it in such a way that just anybody can basically uh, use a cartridge-based system to fill up with water, drop it into the generator, turn the power on, and they've got power for 10, 12 hours. So the application for this is disaster relief, hurricane preparation, storm uh, preparation, uh, earthquake kits, natural disasters. That's the first application for the product because you can use any kind of water and the shelf life is virtually indefinite. It's a dry powder inside, you can keep it on the shelf for years and when you need it, you just add, add water. Unlike a lead acid battery system that you know, can work on the, in the first hours, but once you're out of a lead acid battery, you can't charge them again. I notice that you have uh, you have both AC and USB adapters uh, connectors here. So uh, I'm assuming you can power everything from like a laptop PC to your USB light, USB peripherals. Uh, what kind of power draw? What kind of what, what kind of lifetime are you looking at when you have one of these units active? So you have, with one cartridge, this is 270 watt hours. Okay, one cartridge gives you 270 watt hours. That's enough to charge 10 laptops. Okay. So on one charge, you can do 10 laptops. You can also power a light for maybe a day. Uh, you, can, you can power a small TV, uh, charge your cell phones. Uh, we haven't done all the calculations in terms of how many cell phones you can charge, but probably a lot more than laptops. Um, so the interesting thing is um, you can buy several of these cartridges in a half, for example, a kilowatt hour of energy. So five of these cartridges will give you that. Uh, it all depends on the fuel. And the advantage is that this becomes the consumable. So for the consumers, this is planned to be a $20 retail item. $20 for 270 watt hour of energy. And if you buy another 270 watt hours, it's just an extra $20. So it's a big, big advantage in terms of the portable power industry. And I think as, an, as a portable power product, it's a major innovation due to the water activation process that we've created. Now, I, we've taken a look at a, a few fuel cells in the past, and one of the biggest drawbacks has been that once you start that reaction, once you add water, once you break the seal, whatever it is to, to activate the cell, you only have a certain amount of time uh, b before it depletes itself. Even if you're not using it, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kill itself because the reaction continues. That, but that's not the case with this. Actually, that's, a very, that's, a very, that's been the big problem so far, and, and we've been scratching our heads on this for, for years. In fact, uh, we've partnered with a company called Millennium Cell in the U.S. They're ba based in New Jersey, and they've created, they worked for years to create a storage solution that actually only brings hydrogen to the system when, when the system needs it. So we've designed it with all the electronics to be able to, to basically tell the cartridge when to produce hydrogen and when to stop producing hydrogen or extracting hydrogen from the solution that's in here. Um, and the advantage is once it's activated, you can turn it off. You can use it in a few days later uh, for another couple of hours or three hours or whatever it is until either you've run out of, of solution or you've passed a 30-day limit. There is a 30-day limit on once you've activated it, you can use it. That's fantastic. So you're, you're really only drawing power when you need power. That's what you say. Power when you need it and just add water. Okay. Now, I, I know these cartridges are going to be about $20. What are we looking at when this finally hits the street? You have to see this like almost like a coffee machine concept. Coffee machine with those little disposable coffee uh, inserts. This is the coffee machine. It will retail for about $400, one-time purchase. This is the little uh, disposable coffee uh, insert. Basically, here's where you add the water. Uh, and just drop it into the machine, turn on, and you've got power. Well... Thank you very much for your time. I, I appreciate the fact that you're trying to make green products. Uh, I love the fact that you're pushing out the awareness about hydrogen fuel cells. Hopefully we'll see one of these uh, soon and uh, we'll be able to give you a full review of, of how the system works.